Hello and welcome to my video today. In my previous video on the phone mount, you may have noticed that I recently acquired an Android phone. I picked this up on eBay for about 40 bucks. It's several years old, but it does everything I need to do, especially playing music and using it with Android auto testing. In fact, I am using it today with an Android app called Fisker Live and it's only available on Android and not iOS. It has been out for at least six months, so I'm a bit late in covering this, but you can understand I didn't have an Android phone. Well, let's get started. So here we have the APK, and it's in a Google Drive. So I downloaded it, and here it is, Fisker Live. I'm going to allow my phone to install it. Click on install. Let it do its thing. Fisker Live is showing up right here. Let's look at the app info. Pretty small at 43 megabytes. Let me go back into the main menu here. I'm going to add it to the home screen. There we go. Now I'm going to start it up. Shows a picture of the Fisker Ocean, email, password, car region. Got to enter my login information for my Fisker, then click on login. And there's my Fisker Ocean. I'm a little bit low on my state of charge since I plan to do a CCS charging test pretty soon. Software showing OS 2.2. A lot of this information is showing Celsius, but I'll uh, switch that to Fahrenheit soon enough. So this is the home screen. Nothing clickable on the main screen here. However, if I do click on location, it brings up Google Maps and where I'm currently at. And there we are. Not totally accurate, but close enough. Uh, let's go back to the app. Let me look at controls, insights, settings. Yeah, let's let's look at settings first. I'm gonna change that to Imperial Units. Filter short trips. I'm gonna leave that. Automatically lock the doors. Yeah, that's actually pretty handy. I'll turn that on. I'm gonna leave the other things off right now. Enable a better route planner. I need to go and add that since I don't have that app installed yet. So let's go into Insights. It's not going to have any data since I just installed the app. So trips, charging, and Vampire Drain are all going to be empty for right now. Moving over to controls, we see I have the ability to lock and unlock the doors, close and open California mode, and close and open the lift gate. Scrolling down to the bottom, you can see that there's buttons for all the different windows. So that's all very handy. So let me leave the app and I need to go get a better route planner. All right, let's go to Play Store, search. I might as well install PlugShare while I'm at it. A better route planner. Let me start that up. Gonna log in. 
and it has my existing account with the Tesla Model 3. Now I'm going to add the Fisker Ocean. And there we go. Now at this point I need to have live data connected. However, the basic account doesn't allow this. You have to pay for premium and I only have basic right now. So at some point I'll upgrade to premium so I'll be able to test this out. So I can't use it with the Fisker Live app currently. So there we go. That is the Fisker Live app. Quick look and there's going to be a future version of this that's going to be available to FOA members. It's going to have a different name and hopefully it's going to have a lot more features and already it's a lot more useful than the existing My Fisker app for Android and iOS. So once I get that, I'll be testing it and letting you know how it works. So that's pretty exciting. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.